What's good, my people? Who is today here? Welcome to another episode of Afrobeats Weekly, your podcast about African music on the continent and the diaspora. Welcome to episode 35. It's been one hell of a crazy week here in Nigeria. Poor scarcity and traffic from hell. But in the wonderful words of Lupe Fiasco, the show goes. The show goes on. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> before we get into today's episode, I need you guys to please rate and review the podcast. Engage with us. It helps us grow. It helps us get noticed. So as you're listening from your favorite app right now, just leave that five-star rating and comments. And thank you very much. We appreciate it. On today's episode of Afrobeats Weekly, we will be discussing Whiskey's announcement for his joint tour with David Doe. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm air-quoting that announcement <laughs> because it's Whiskey. Anyways, on the review tip, we've got soundtracks with Good Life by Jabota22. And as usual, new songs, spoilers of the week, turntable charts, and all that other good stuff. What's going on, show? How far? What up, man? What up? How you doing, man? Bella. That's all I can say. I be on your side now. We're good, man. We're good. You know, we're all right. <laughs> we know you're all right here. Send help. Send help. Send help. <laughs> SOS. SOS. <laughs> Anyways, we mm-hmm. have a family of this week. Um, James from Lagos. What's going on, James? Um, James says, Hi, guys. Tony and show. I'm writing you guys from traffic on my way to work. Poor scarcity is yeah. crazy. <laughs> Says thanks for keeping me company with the podcast. Um, I know the biggest news this week is the David Doe and Wiz talk collab, but I am of the opinion that they shouldn't do a song together and just keep it at touring and being friends. What do you guys think? You know what, mm-hmm. James? We are going to break that down proper. Just hold on. Let's, you know, finish, get that all through the news and <laughs> we'll come back to um, this question. Anyways, don't forget to send us messages at fanmail at afrobeatspod.com. That's fanmail at A-F-R-O-B-E-A-T-S-P-O-D.com. So let's kick off the show um, this week. And of course, the biggest news, like James said, Whiskey taking to his Instagram and announcing a joint tour with David Doe. We don't know when, we don't know how, <laughs> just know that the show is coming, but let's get into other news. Um, CK's Love Wanting Thing goes four times platinum and David O's Four goes platinum. No surprises here. These songs were very huge songs. And these songs like played their parts in like, you know, amplifying that Afrobeat sound to the diaspora. So I guess, yeah. yeah, congrats to both of them on that. Um, another week, another Thames news. <laughs> this time, uh, Big Snoop Double D O G. Have you heard of this? A Big Snoop D O Double G. Yeah, Big Snoop D O Double G. Um, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Many people that <laughs> call him Snoop. So Snoop wants a collab with Thames, and he has taken to the internet to plead his case and beg Thames for a collab. I think this one is already done. The way both of them are tweeting, are tweeting about it and saying all this stuff. I think this is already a done deal. I'm just curious to hear what the Thames and Snoop song would sound like, man. Hopefully, <laughs> just, just hopefully it's on her album, not his. I'm just... Not his, yeah. Like I say, like, not, I'm... Yeah, yeah I'm, ready, like I'm ready for Thames. If you go on exactly. experimental phase like that, I just go put Thames on something that we don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready for Thames to have a have a nice a nice banger f- to start off the year, so that she can she can at least give us an album. So yeah, hopefully it's on her album. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Anyways, let's get into today's news proper. This was the biggest news all week. Whiskey announced his joint tour with David Doe on his Insta story. Of course, the news was picked up by bloggers and David Doe liked, some couple, uh, liked a couple of tweets, meaning there's something definitely in the works. But like yep. James from Lagos wants to know um, what's going to come out of this. Except, let's, let's start from the beginning because except you've been living under a rock and this rock <laughs> has been under the sea. <laughs> or you just stumbled <laughs> upon this podcast and just started listening to Afro Beats and Nigerian music yesterday. That's the only way I can forgive you for not knowing that Whiskey and David Do have been beefing. Um, and for the sake of this podcast, we know there's a third force, there's a big four, big five, 
But these guys are arguably the biggest two superstars in Afro beats. Um, and as our elders would like to say, you have to visit the past to see the future, or something like that. Anyways, <laughs> so it was how the beef started. Uh, but turning back to how the beef started, and to me, I think it was just the ego thing. More, more ego, more ego. That's pretty much what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think the only person that has spoken on this beef is David Doe. And he said that they were always cordial, you know, and, and but both camps and like stands just like really made it difficult for both of them to say hi to why over the years. But hopefully that's all sorted out now. So um I think let's first of all, yeah, given <coughs> Weezy's track record of saying stuff and not going through it. Do you think this is going to happen? Let's just start from there. Okay. So, do I think it's going to happen? Yeah. I think not. Ooh, and the only reason why I think... Well, exactly. The only reason why I think, no, it's not going to happen is because who's going to close? Mm. That's, that's just my thing. Who is going to close the show? Because if you're touring together, one person has to come up first, one person has to come up. Like who close and in closing, closing now realizes and uh, makes it seem that oh that's the biggest star. Yeah, that's but cool. what if who's gonna close? Yeah. So I think <laughs> so two scenarios. Okay. And maybe let's um around around the time they're touring, I think whichever whoever has the biggest song then closes, but the, with the other artist on stage. So maybe the other artist too is like singing the chorus together. I might want to do it. I might want to do it. Yeah. Oh. So, so are you trying to say yeah. that? So are you trying to say that while they're touring, they'll be doing different songs? So a person will come out, do a song, another person will come out, do a song, another person will come out, do a song, another person will come out, do a song, and at the very end, the person with the hottest song does his song with with the other artists on stage? Is that how you're, yeah. you're picturing it? I, 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 that's how I'm picturing it. Because that's... Or, or the Mr. More Ego, More Ego just lets it go and allows David, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, I don't know. It's as simple I, as that. It's like, who is going to close? Like, who's going to say, you know what? It doesn't matter. You, go, I can go on first. You can go on after me. Because that's... That's who, like, that's how you generalize, okay, who's the biggest star? I mean, I technically, the, when, when oh. artists here tour together, that's how it kind of looks. You know, because at the end of the day, and that is only going to fuel it to the fans, that the fans are just going to keep going. And more. So it, it's never going to end. Yeah, so the whole gonna... thing about, like, oh, you know, okay, if they do it together, maybe their fans will, like, you know, for once have sense but it's that is not gonna work because at the end of the day if someone closes that fan is gonna be like you see even he knows that we're the biggest mm -hmm. star like it's never okay, so gonna end let me segue into my other question another scenario this is tiny to my other question what if they okay. both do a song together and close it out with that and the question is, do you think these guys, like James said, do you think these guys should collaborate music-wise? Do you think that makes sense? It only makes sense if... <sighs> music-wise, it only makes sense if they're, if they're going to, you know, if it's going to be a great song, right? We have seen collabos from artists who were beefing, or not to say beefing, but long, great terms, and it's come out and everybody's just forgotten about the song. Case in point, Nas and Jay, yeah. even, even, even like, I mean, they were not beefing, but I don't think anybody plays that song that much. It's like Burn Down Ways. I don't think people play Bethlehemus that much. But anyways, it's just, if it's going to be a great song, yes, they can do it together. But if it's not, it's just going to, meh. And that's only going to cause another, you see, this gets power, the sweetest part of the song, you see what happened, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's never going to end. I just feel it's never going to end. So, and it's all about if, you know, one person says, you know what? Ego aside, let's just get this thing done. It'd be great for Alpha Beats. And we move on from there. Uh, let's see. 
let's let's see how that goes now. Let's see how that goes. But I, I for for some reason I think this is going to happen. I don't know why. But I just know that Nigerians are going to be on the short end of the stick and they're going to give us one like take December concerts and <laughs> like focus more on the diaspora. <laughs> I like obviously yeah, focus man. on the focus on the pain guys. Anyways, so um, let's, let, let's final question on this one here. Like, what do you think this kind of big tour does for Afro? Because it's going to be huge if it happens. Like, so, what do you think this kind of tour does and means for Afrobeats? This is exactly what. So, this is the next level because, like I've said, Afrobeat stars have been touring, but they've been touring just by themselves. Yeah. Right. And this would be an even bigger thing if they had opening acts, if they had, you know, you know, up and coming guys on the same tour. Like that's when Afrobeat has, has, you know, basically is going to be on top tier with any other like genre, like I would put it. So yeah. if they get it right, you know, definitely doesn't have to be another big star, right? Just a nice up and coming up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up. <laughs> no, it can't be, no, they threw No, it can't, that can never happen. So it's if like a mid tier guy, like, you know, Buju, Aruga, yeah. you know, one of those people, like in the opening acts, and like that's the only way that Afro beats now, like, you know, becomes dominant. So I, I would love to see it. Like, it's, it'll be a great look. So hopefully they can get it right. Yeah. Hopefully they get it right and we hope the stands and all these fanboys and different camps just chill. A whiskey and um David o collab is going to do amazing for Afrobeats. And again, I I lean, I strongly lean towards the fact that this is going to happen. Might not be this year, maybe next year, but we are going to see a David o and Wiz tour and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully I think it'll be a couple shows. I don't think it'll be tour. Yeah. I just think it's a good couple tour. shows. So yeah. I think yeah, it's okay. just gonna be a couple I, 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 shows. I think we'll, we'll see them on stage together once again. <laughs> yeah. That can all yeah. right. All right. Voila. So James of Lagos, thank you. We answered your question. We also dealt into this topic. So from uh the topic of the day, we are moving to new songs and albums. The love songs came out this week good songs if i must say but i think mostly i'm a piano dominated first of all we're going with body and soul by joe boy um to me joe boy has been putting up one kind of you know lover boy persona online so i'm not really surprised with a jam like this um, body and soul it's equally produced um it's, it's not a bad jam at all no, it's a decent um joe boy song you can just add to your playlist and spin yeah, this is this is a really good song for me, man. Like I, I did enjoy this a lot. And it's been a while since I've liked the Joe Boy song. So this easily makes it. And yeah, like I said, I think this is the this might be the first like play along song for the year to me. So okay. yeah, I, I enjoy this song a lot. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to Automatic by Small God and Low J. One of my favorite joints that dropped this week. When the snippet dropped, I already knew I was going to love it. This is a fire song to me. Loji is just keeping that Nigerian on a piano vibe alive. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. Automatic by Small God and Loji. Dope one for me. Yeah, so remember how I said last week that I don't know how many I have in me? Yeah. This, makes, <laughs> this is number one. So <laughs> we can keep going, but this is number one. You know, I'm a piano Niger song that I like for the year. So, okay, all right. So we oh added, we added one more to the cup. It's not full yet. <laughs> it's not yet full. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> so automatic by Small God and Loje, Fire Jam there. There's also Bunda by Spino, Olamide, and Kemuel. I don't know who <laughs> I listened to this one. Maybe I was expecting too much. But I, I, I was think really I was expecting feeling. too much. I think I was yeah, expecting yeah, too much from Olamide. I, I from Olamide. But I liked um, Kemal's verse or, yeah. you know, whatever it was. Like, that was really... I enjoyed that part, like, really well. The beat is also... Uh, it's also good. I mean, you know, nice jam. Like, it, it, it bangs. But I think I was expecting so much. Like, once I saw Olamide's name, I was, like, so excited. 
and like yeah. when he now did his part i was like mm, maybe that's not the part i was expecting yeah, so man. yeah almost the same almost the same almost the same feeling for me i was expecting like a banger but i mean great song spinner can hardly you know, spinner hardly goes wrong with um, these collaborations he puts together so Bunda by Spino, Olambe and Kimo. You guys should check that out too. We have Ease Up by Nonso Amadi. This mm. one, I didn't even know it was Nonso Amadi. It sounded so different on this jam. Yeah. Yes, it's at that place where it's, you know, trying to experiment on new sounds and, you know, try other things. It wasn't a bad jam at all, but I, it didn't sound, I don't know. To me, it didn't sound like yeah, Nonso Amadi. Yeah, exactly. At all. It just didn't sound like him. And so it kind of also, I mean, he's also, he has to also think about it like, oh, look, man. Afro beat is popping. I need to have like a sort of like an Afro beat banger, yeah. If you want to say or Afro beat sing along. So I know Afro. I know Nonso is known for like slow, sultry, R and B kind of Afro beats. <laughs> you want to put it like that? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this was just this more. I mean, this, this more groovy. So yeah, I mean it's different, yeah. but I think it works. Yeah, it works, it works, it works. Don't matter it at all, don't matter it at all. Um, we got a remix this week, War War Remix ah. by Means, Buju, and Black Bones. We wanted Whiskey on this one, but we got a, <laughs> <laughs> but we got a sick ass verse from Buju, and of course, Black Bones delivers with the rap skills. Um, I'm really rooting for Means. I hope these songs get bigger, or War. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I mean, I love this jam. Love this jam. It was, it was cool that we, you know, we aired who should feature on it, but yeah. they were totally different. They were totally different. But yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as always, they pick like these are the perfect. I mean, perfect people. If you couldn't get ways on it, like these are the perfect people that you would have on the song. It works yep, yep. perfectly well. Hopefully, this gives the song more life for the year. So, yeah, Mins, it's got one on it. No, no doubt about that. So, our final song, One More Night by Kel P. This one, Off the Gear, The Dilemma, um, Kelly Rowland and Nelly Sample just gets you hooked immediately for me. This is a very nice jam. I like that producers are coming for like this artist bag. This is Kel P's, um, I think his first solo single as an artist. KLP vibes becoming KLP the artist. So one more night by KLP. I actually I totally enjoyed this one. Enjoyed it. So in the same vein as Phil's and uh, Young, John. Young John, you know we have our first. You know, would you put it like first producer turned artist sort of banger of the year? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> I mean the sample, the sample game. Bernard showed us what the sample game can do. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you have one and you think it might be great, this I mean this might be a song that he could have sent to one of the big guys and like it would have just been massive. But hey, like I said, everybody's coming for that bag this year. So yeah, what hey. was this song sweet to make I keep him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I keep him. Yeah, so new, those are the new songs we jam. Let's know what you think. We have just one album on deck this week. Um, oh. Soundtrack to a Good Life by Ajebota22. To be honest, let me just go straight <laughs> out the gate. <laughs> and, uh, I don't sure he's laughing because of this text I sent him. <laughs> but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, peep the, I'm not going to see the text here, but. Anyways, I think I'm on the minority on this one. I really, really tried to, you know, hear what most people were hearing, but I just couldn't connect with the album. All over my timeline, a lot of people are saying this is a very great Ajibota album. But for me, I just don't hear it. I mean, it's good in terms of vibes, 15 songs, couple of features, like the Poe, the Butter Hustlers, Oxlade. But I just don't know. I, I think okay, maybe so because it's, it's kind of like a vibe, feel yeah. good album. So okay. it just fell short with impressing me lyrics wise. Again, let me just put it out there. I'm on the lower percentage of people not feeling the album. But if 80% of the people on my timeline says the album is very good, then maybe I need to go and wash my ears or, <laughs> or something. 
Well, this this okay. album, but well, I don't think I'm going back to it. Really? Okay. So I think this album is more of a. How would you put it? This is the album from like how we called Wiz last album, right? Yeah. How we think? I think it's a slow burner, and it'll be a slow burner for you, right? Now, why I think it's a slow burner is that because this album is strictly an enjoyment album. Like I tagged this album strictly summer slash VK. Like yeah, he yeah, has to be on the vacation yeah, 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 Exactly. Yeah. So man, if you're like going through the traffic and stress the whole week and trying to get through, <laughs> this album is never enough for you because you're supposed to be carefree when you're listening to this album. So it doesn't. Yeah, this album. Week, I wasn't carefree this week at all, man. I didn't stop having a So we've been away. We've been away. Perfectly well. And I was like, so when I was listening to the album, I was just like, man, how can you release this album? In January, like I don't understand, like what, what was the what was the thought process between him releasing this album in January? Like this album has to be at least released in May, or yeah, you're releasing this album before. just before December. Like so, I I don't get it. Like I don't know what happened. Maybe he's had it in the bag since, and he wanted to release it before December, but he just couldn't. And he was like, look, I just need to get it out. But I just feel like it's poorly released. Like, the timing doesn't gel with the vibe of this album. Now, with that being said, Ajabada is going to do what Ajabada is going to do. He's going to give you vibes. Yeah, yeah. And this album does have a bunch of vibey songs yeah. on it. And now, like, I might not know if I might be one of the people who don't like the Oxlade um the Oxlade feature, yeah. But every other one, Fire with Jeff Alcor, Ajabara Hustlers, that's enjoyment is my jam. We're talking about how, you know, what Laddie pulled back with an album that pulled, gives yeah. us a fire, fire verse on Soft Life. I enjoy Day OK with Kitty and Joe B, like Joey B, and my piano and Shisha. I was, I, this ends as my, my piano cup as well. Uh, yeah. Hear My Sound might be the best song on the album. Um, yeah, so like, this, man, someone does what this album is supposed to do. It's vibey. I loved it a lot. I mean, I like, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I loved it a lot being the fact that it's, this is how I enjoy and how I expect, you know, Ajabota albums to be. Be, since you know the first one where he did with Studio Magic and yeah. then he had you know what was the second album I think it was What Happens in Lagos I'm seeing Lagos yeah, yes, so, yeah. yeah so I suppose he doesn't he doesn't disappoint with his sound right and you know he still kept it fresh so yeah I, I'll, I'll give you one more spin in the gym tomorrow and give you one more spin in the drive. gym. Like I've, like I've told you, like you I have give to be. Give my drive. But the thing is that my drive is always full of traffic. So I never like this album. <laughs> anyway, I'll, talk, I'll, give it, I'll give it another spin to see if it grows on me. Um, I'm, showed, I'm sold on um, show's review on this. So maybe I'll just calm down and listen to it with... Um, with the vibey brain of <laughs> bro, vibey the name of the album is called yeah. Soundtrack to the Good Life. Good life. To yeah, the Good yeah. Life, bro. I, I, that vibe, we don't do that vibe for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there you have it, guys. I don't know if you guys have listened. Let's know what you think. At the Butters album, Soundtrack to a Good Life. Let us know what you think. So we are moving from the albums to uh, Spotlight of the Week. And today's artist is Bloody Civilian. Um, she mm. first got on our radar with the Wakanda on the she was on the Wakanda Forever soundtrack. Um, she's a highly talented producer and musician. Um, the name of the song I want you guys to listen to is How to Kill a Man. It's a very dope song, has a very dope video. She's one of those, you know, rising stars that, you know, I think she just won't hit a wig because given her management, the team she's in. You guys should check out Bloody Civilians How to Kill a Man on our Spotlight of the Week this week. Yeah. So from Spotlight of the Week, we're going to the turntable charts. Nothing more change here, just a couple of um, jumps here and there, a couple of leaps. So let's kick it off with number 10. Going down is Joha by Ashake. 
Chance Naham by Sheyi Vibes is rising. One spot loaded by Tiwa Savage and Ashake is going down. Cough or door going down to number seven. On the sixth spot, we have Extra Cool by Young John going down. One Damo, Mavens, Boy Spice, Rema, Crayon by Yanni going down two. Um, number four, Personal, Zinoliski going down. And Climbing, three spots, So So by Omale. This song is getting ridiculous airplay. I don't understand the, the new life it has gotten. Debuting on the chart, Rich Till I Die, Kiss Daniel at number two. I don't know how this guy does it, but he's always done <laughs> it somehow. <laughs> and number one from last week, number one this week, Rogas Ashiwaju on the turntable charts. Roga has it again. I think, come to predict, I think it will still, you know, nick it next week, then before maybe it starts going down a bit. But yeah, there you have it. Roga at number one on the turntable charts this week. So we're going to our next segment called The Five. And my five this week is for my Jebota because I listened to soundtracks with Good Life. And me, I know the Good Life, so this is not to enter. I went back to his old, <laughs> his old discography. And I have at number five, Pombo Guy. This was the first song of his Anytime Soon album. Very underrated song, melody wise. This song goes hard. Dope Studio Magic album two. Number four, I have Ghana Bounce. Another Studio Magic produced jam. The bop on this one is heavy. The ass on the vixen on this video. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Ghana Bounce. <laughs> heavy, heavy song. <laughs> uh, number three, Too Many Women. This one is of the Make You No know, Two Cause Fight. Make You No know, Cause Fight 2 EP with Files. This is a small jam. You already know the chemistry between Ajay Butter and Budge is crazy. Now added files in the mix. Solid, solid jam. At number two, I have Bad Gang with Falls. Another fire song. This one had that Ote I Am um, Party popping 2017. Everything was just right with this jam. Bad Gang by Falls. Um, Bad Gang by Ajay Butter featuring Falls. Number one, of course, to me, this is still his best song. I don't know about you or anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, Quentin mm-hmm. Bond, it was off mm-hmm. that major, uh, that's, that's his major debut album, Studio Magic, anytime soon or more. Pastor is my number one as a butter song on the fives. What's yours, my dude? Okay, that was a that was a good list. That was a nice good list. Um, Camp Front, all those songs were fire. Um, so mine is different. So clearly still in the Andre Butter realm. Um, however, I'm going with um, top five songs produced by Studio Magic. We don't know I Studio Magic. That magic. Exactly. Studio Magic and Ajebota, they've always created like beautiful, dope songs. I'm a pastor being one of them. So yeah, I just said top five songs produced by Studio Magic. So at number five, I have Represent. Can't remember Represent. It was the last song on MI2. That's yep, a song yep. with Jesse Jags, Brian Mo, Brian Mo, pfft. Brian Mo, since I won, dope, dope hook. So, anyways, represent number five. At number four, I have the Ajabeto song Serenre, which had like hey, was, was, I can't remember her name, but like Tai B or something like that. So that was the song, Sarah. If you can't remember saying Serenre, baby, give me, baby, give me more, more Ajabeto. Yeah, that song. Um, number three, the Foul song from Foul's first album, High Class. That was a banger as well. Ooh, um, banger. Number two, number two, even though it's like, I, I was, number two is Omar Pasto, Studio by oh. Studio Magic. That was movie's insane. Oh, it's crazy. And at number one, no matter where and how, wherever I am, when I hear this song, this yeah. beat is ridiculous. It's currency by Files. So Forest-y. yes, that's the fire. So those are my top five produced Studio by Studio Magic. Magic. Although yes, I have like you know other couple that didn't make the list. Cool Party with Files, Ghana Bounce. 
um, Ajabota and Bad Gang Ajabota. But yeah, those five for sure. Not That's a bad it. list, man. Not a bad list. Those guys, to be honest, they made magic together. <laughs> they really made magic together, man. So yeah, there you have it. Our fives. We are moving on to the last segment of the show. It's called Eliminate. And we are today's battle is very interesting. It's nothing too serious, so don't take it. It's not serious, serious please, guys. It's, it's not. It's not that serious. We are doing the David Doe versus Wiz battle on today's Eliminate. It's going to be very interesting, trust me. So we are kicking off with the Battle of Debut albums, Superstar versus Omar Babalowo. Both of these albums have had hits for days. Omar Babalowo had all of you back when, Ikuro, of course, Damiduro, mm. Superstar had Love mm. My Baby, Akuro Mo, Don't Do, Tease Me, Holler at Your <laughs> Boy, you know, Slippers. Yeah. These two albums yeah. were fire, man. But you, you, just, you just have to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I I love to pick two of them. I would love to pick two of them because to me, it's it's neck and neck on for me, right? But if I just go with one, just for the sake of this battle, I'm definitely going with Superstar. So that's that. Mm, superstar, Superstar has it for show. So on the other uh, albums doing battle. Um, I call this battle of songs that came out around the same time. <laughs> so we have Made in Lagos and A Better Time. We've seen what both albums have done in recent times. I know which one I prefer, but I know which one was more superior. So I'll just keep quiet and let you do the picking. <laughs> um, that, we're, we're just going to Made in Lagos. That's not, that's not, that's not fights. Yeah, all, right. All, all right, all right. Made in Lagos, Made in Lagos. So we have Battle of the EPs, Sounds from the Other Side versus Son of Mercy. A lot of bangers on Sounds from the EP, um, Sounds from the Other Side. Son of Mercy had that, you know, very nice banger with Tinashe. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Baby, that song. <laughs> yeah, that's so right. Battle of the EPs, yeah. Sounds from the Other Side and Son of Mercy. Um, On this one, I'm going with Son of Mercy. Yes. Son of Mercy. You understand? Yes, I'm going with Son of Mercy on this one. Hmm. So, Sounds from the Other Side is eliminated. Okay. Battle of Second Albums. Ayo versus A Good Time. So, let me run it through. A Good Time at Risky. Risky, yes, but as at Fall, at Assurance, I'd Blow My Mind, as with in the Middle. Ayo had Jaye Jaye, Ujue Legba, On Top Your Mata, Bombay, uh, One Question, uh, Karo. That, that album was underrated. <laughs> that I think I want it. Ayo, right? But but I think Ayo was just so long, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a really long album. And he just, and after Superstar, man, we were just like, Wiz was like on the mountain for us. And so when Ayo came out, it was like, it was just so long. It had like, yes, it had the hits in between, but. The fact that it was so long, there were just some songs that were just like, yo. And just because of that, A Good Time takes this. Because I remember where I was when A Good Time was playing, and A Good Time just had like, I know like it also came late because like there were some singles that were just on it that shouldn't have been on it, but they were just so big that you couldn't leave them off the album. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, A Good Time takes that. All right. So, super, you picked Superstar album about Mobile, right? Yes. So, Battle of First Album and David O's EP, Superstar vs. Son of Mercy. Superstar. Mm, easy, easy choice. There. Easy. <laughs> there. <laughs> A Good Time vs. Made in Lagos. I know we should make it interesting and, you know, <laughs> I know we should. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. we should. But come on, man. Come on. Let's be, let's be serious. Let's all be all right. serious. If, all right. we are, if we are so, being serious and, you know, don't try to make it serious. interesting, I already yes. know what makes it to the next round. I just want you to say it. So I'll make it to the next round for you. <laughs> Please. Made in Lagos. Thank you very much. Made in Lagos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made in Lagos. We've heard. <laughs> So two whiskey song make the end of the eliminate. What do you Albums. pick? First album, 
versus classic album Superstar versus Made in Lagos. Yeah, it's still superstar for me. So yeah, let's let's, <laughs> let's not fight. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say Superstar is your favorite whiskey album. Yeah, bro. Safe to All say. Right. There you have it on today's Eliminate Superstar Stands Strong. I just had to chip in the video with small day. But <laughs> so <laughs> <you want to fight. laughs> Superstar has it for show. That's it on the show, guys. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of Afrobeats Weekly. We hope you yep. enjoyed it. New episode of the podcast drops every Monday. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your pod from keep podding subscribe we would love to hear from you use the hashtag afrobeats weekly please leave us comments suggestions send new music to fanmail at afrobeatspod.com also don't forget to follow us on twitter and instagram on afrobeatspod we will catch you in the next episode from me it's bye peace out peace out